Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today I'm a little bit excited to show you this amazing magical box. I will call this box Don's Magical Box because I learned that from uh, Don Rabel, one of my teammates. She had so something similar, she couldn't find the direction, so she make her own. So check this out here. So this is a belly band here. We're going to slide this. This is the broad of all the designer series paper, but I'm using this one like as any occasion, like a birthday. And, okay, don't blink here because it's magical. So when I lift it up, voila, you get some nuggets there, right? And here it's absolute, it feel like nothing. But when I flip it this way, the nuggets are on this side. See, it's all magical. I absolutely love this. Love it. Now, I'm going to share this with the same paper, but we're going to do Christmassy. So you could do that for any occasion and so on. One thing that I want to say, though, uh, some of you don't do chocolate, so we can uh, find a way. It's the perfect, see, it's this perfect width also to roll some dollar and put that in. So you could use that also for putting money. Okay, let's put that aside. I will have all measurements on my blog. So I will go through them very quick, but um, all measurements will be on my blog in detail. Now, for the base of the card, you will need two of them. So two, and that here measure five and a quarter by four and a half. On the five and a quarter at the top, you're going to score at five eight, at one and a quarter, at four, four and five eight. You're going to do that for both box, okay? Two of them. You're going to flip this and you're going to score. It's so now you get the four and a half at the top. You're going to score at five eight, one and a quarter three and a quarter and three and seven eight so that you're going to need two of them and that's for the box itself now for the top and the bottom i'm looking where the heck i put okay so the top and the bottom here i'm going to remove the belly band because we will talk about other pieces you're going to need two pieces of for the top and the bottom that it's two and one quarter by five and seven eight now the bottom I'm not putting any layers okay for the top if you put layers you <clears throat> like the cardstock it's gonna be two and one eight by five and three quarter now the designer series paper will be uh, two by five and five eight. So I will glue that right away together. So then we're ready to roll when we put that together. I like to work a lot with Tombow glue for this project. And the main reason it's because it is so, so tight, so tight. So, um, just a little border around, and with Tombow glue, it gives you the chance to move things around, okay? Now we're going to use more Tombow. So then, as we go, it's going to be quick to put together if all our layers are assembled. So now this is the top layer here. So you see just a little border, and then this is going to be the bottom. Now, for the flippy part, okay, I call that the flippy part. That's those mechanism right here, the flippy part. That is, you're going to need two again because you get two box. So, uh, this is going to be, let me remove. So, you're going to need two of them that measure four and five eight by two and three quarter. Now, you're going to score this at uh, five eight. And you're going to score that at 2 and 5 8. So you're going to need two of them. 
I'm going to move that just a minute because I want to remove this to we get more space. So you're going to need two of them. Now for the belly band, you're going to use, um, <clears throat> for the belly band, you're going to have to uh, two inch by six and three quarter. Now the side of the belly band that you want to face up, so uh, you want it to face up this way when you score. I find that more friendly. When it comes to the um, designer series paper, we get the big tip and the small tip. I like to use the small tip to score for cardstock. The big tip, I like that for designer series paper. The reason why it's because designer series paper, it's more light and if you use the small one in your hand, it's a heavy hand, you're going to go through. This is more friendlier for designer sear paper. Okay, so again, it's two by six and three quarter. You're going to score that at um, one and one eight. Uh, uh, sorry. Let me, okay. One and one eight. Two and, no, back up the puss. Okay, the piece measure two by six and three quarter. Score at one and one eight, one and seven eight, four and one eight, and four and seven eight. Now we are done with this here. Let's remove this. Okay, this in all what we're doing, this part here, it's the most complicated one. I had to rewind Dawn's back and forth to register that. So, one of the piece going to be stuck at this end, and the other one going to be stuck at the other end. So, before we glue the other piece, let's do both box. That's going to be easier. So, to do the box, at any time that you do um, any type of 3D box and so on, the main trick to this is to really reinforce your score line. Now I score, you see this is the push, so that's going to be the out. Okay, that's going to be, you're going to, this way. This is going to be the inside. If you want to stamp something at the bottom of the box, I suggest to stamp it now before the box is assembled. Now, I learned something from Dawn that I thought, hmm. But I've been doing that all along that I never pay attention to it. Some people start scoring this way. If you start scoring at one end and going in, it's a good chance you're going to push your cardstock that it's going to shift. If you start in the center, it's going to keep it equally on each side. It's a simple tip, but it make a difference. And I thought, hmm, I never pay attention to that. So always... Start in the center and go back and forth, okay? Very simple tip that sometimes you can see why I score and my paper is not equally. I bet it's because the way that you score, uh, you start at one end or the other end and it, you push up and that's going to push the paper sideways, right? Okay, after you reinforce all the score, I like to, it doesn't matter if you do the top bottom at the, uh, the long or the short side, but you have to do the same one. You cannot do on the long side and then the short side. I like to do on the short side and then we're going to cut right here and cut right here. Now you're going to remove this and I go sideways a little bit. See? Because that's going to fold over. Now I'm going to remove up to the score line here. I want to remove the score line of this also and over here. Just a little sliver, okay? Very little sliver. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Well, here we go. So we're going to do that on all four sides. 
it's very important that you remove that score line because when you're going to fold that under to tuck, you want place that it fold, okay? So you just want to do a little V there. Same on the side here. Et voilà. So now after we've done... Uh, oops. Make sure I'm going on the right direction here. Um, after we've done that on the four corners... Then we're going to be able to go ahead and fold our box. I already done pre-done one, but know that you're going to have to do that on two of your box, okay? Two box to do this project here. There we go. So you just keep the tab, okay? You remove all this and keep the tab on the side there. Et voila. Now let me um, show you the box before we assemble it. So this is what you're going to get. Tab, 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 tab. Now, see, diagonal a little bit, all tiny bit diagonal. So that way, when you're going to fold it, it's going to go under snug and no bulk. Now, for me, I like to push those two tabs on the side there. Now, I'm going to put glue. Again, I like to use the tumble for that. So I fold my flap down, and I put just a little bit of glue here. Uh, maybe you guys like to use tear and tape. That's what Don used. I like to work with Tombow glue when it comes to things like this because it gives me the chance to move it. Now, this is going to get fold under. Now, push it down. Make sure it's entered good, those tabs. Now, reinforce this here. Make the, the glue bond good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So remember, those little, going to put the glue here and over here. And remember, when it comes to video and crafting, you can pause the video, work on your project, and, or rewind. If you miss something, you can rewind and so on. That's the beauty about a video. You can go back and forth, right? So don't be afraid to use that button to rewind and so on. Now we got these two. We're going to put the glue again. That one could have pushed more a bit, I think. Okay, we're going to fold this and fold this. And you see now it fits very easy because we did that little sliver there and that's make it a big difference when it comes to box making now you really want to burnish this i think it's burnished award so it's stuck together okay now here it comes i want merry christmas there and happy new year on this side okay so that's the two box going to go this way. Now, this one here going to be stuck over there. So this, oh, now this again, you need to do a little sliver sideways. Just a little di uh, angle here. So that's going to go in your thing. So now this going to go there. That's going to oh, go this way. Sorry that way and it's going to come this way and then the other one it's coming at this end i think that's right oh wait a minute okay this one go over there sorry that's good this way and this way. Okay, this one going to go at the top. I have to have this one at the bottom. So that's what I'm saying. This one, it's tricky a little bit. Here we go. So you get one that's going to get glue back there. So we're going to take this one and glue it right there. 
you're gonna see in a minute how this works. This is the most tricky part. And this one, I didn't uh, do a layer of this of uh, cardstock. So my designer series paper, it's the same size than the cardstock on this one. I will have board measurement. So you're gonna need six of the designer series paper for this that measure uh, 178 by 2 and 58 see just a little border the reason why i decided not to add the cardstock on this one i felt it was very bulky we'll see i don't know this is the first one that i do without see now when it open this is there and this going to open this way boom boom now this one going to need to be there so and we need to uh, attach paper right here and this nothing because that's going to get glued to the cover and then something over here so we're going to glue right here first so now um this is going to be like this okay i'm going to go ahead and okay i i need to think again Sorry about that. I'd rather be... Okay, this. Okay, now over here. I'm going to put my joy there. I stand before, okay? And this one I use all the same paper. It's just um, reverse and so on. I just mix them. Et voila. Okay, now this, this one, it's in the back. This one need to go up front, okay? Because that's going to go this way. So we're going to put our glue right there. And again, so it stayed there snug. And then, now, the top, of it you're going to keep it plain because that we're going to have the cover there so this one here i need that's open this way and this is the top i need to have two there so i'm going to go ahead and put one like this and you know what i should have one with something else different there That's okay. I don't have nothing stamp on that one, but I'm still going to. Here we go. I should have glued it before, right? And here we go. Okay, so now you see we got our box. It's pretty much done. Now let's assemble that together. I'm going to do something different than the way I attached the other one. The other one I glue one and then the other one. This one we're going to take those two box and glue them together. I think that's going to be easier to have each side proportion equally. If you look at mine, mine it's off a little bit. So let me do this here. That's going to be easier. Leave it flat on the table. Absolutely flat on the table. And just attach them together. So it's a good bond together. And it's straight on each side of them here. Here we go. Perfect. Now, you're going to place the bottom so the bottom it's don't have nothing there and you're going to turn this upside down and put glue on this and this here i would say don't be shy to put the glue because that's what's going to hold the whole shebang here and again i love the tombow because that gives me the chance to move it around okay now, I want to guide myself on my grid paper there to have about the same thing on each side. So, I'm going to put that here. Oh, 
Okay, even if I try to do this again here, uh, I don't think I can just smack it that darn good. Sorry about my head, but now you see I got all the same proportion around. Okay, turn it around and press this. Now, we have to put the glue on these. So, you're going to go ahead. Now you don't put, want to put it on the cover. Well, we didn't put the other one on the cover neither. It's just this you want to make sure that... Oh. I'm sorry there. You want to make sure you get enough glue so you can um, attach this very lovely here. And here we go. Now let's remove that from there. And then I'm going to smack that there. And try to see on the side if it's equally. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to lift it up one side, press it down, then flip it the other side. You see how that works, right? And I'm cockeye a little bit, not much though. Okay, that looked good. And that looked good. See, I was cockeye a little bit and I was able to shift it because I got the right glue, the liquid glue. So now, for my nuggets, so if you want all both sides with nuggets, it's going to fit eight. You're going to need eight pieces of designer sear paper that measure one and a one and one eight. And one minute. Somebody need me. So it's one and one eight by three. And you're going to fold this. This is very annoying. Here we go. Now I'm going to put glue just right here, just a little bit. And voila. That I don't score because if your chocolate melts a little bit and so on, boom. So now I got eight. So they're going to go sideways. Red and red there. Green, and then it's all from the same print, see? Now when I flip this, now I can put more candy there, or see, I can put some dollar bill there. I got what it's called temporary tape. So I just roll, and if you would have new dollar bill, like my tin was a new, like kind of new, it's even better, it's crisp. Take your tape, you just need a little piece, I get bigger. It's just temporary tape, it won't affect, and then voila. So you just, like those dollar bills went around the world a few times, I think. So what I do is just roll on, baby. Roll on. And then take that temporary tape. It's um, removable tape. And then voila. So then I get another one here. So depends how tight you're gonna do it. That's how many you that one I went to the that's uh, depend how you're gonna fit. If you roll them very tight, you will have um you can uh, do five. If you go very more loose four and if you go very very loose well then three uh three of them but see is that cool oh it got me excited so much so see boom you see it's it's still like that flip it again and boom so what are they gonna get right and now for the belly band we score that. Usually I never score my Billy Band, but this work, one worked very lovely. Oh, I want to have the polka dot. That's what I want. So then we're going to put the Billy Band around. You want to put it loose, but not so loose. Is that such a thing, right? So for my Billy Band, make sure it don't go on your box. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. Fold this 
And like I said, you want it loose, but not so loose, okay? So now it's lined up there, and it's like very good. I got a, a joyful Christmas. I used two stamp set. I used Marius uh, Moment Brightest Glow for this. And I can put that, and I got another one. That's the stitch. You know what? Or then I get this. I thought to do. Uh... You know what? I'm putting this here. So what I'm gonna do? This is three and a half. I think no four. Four by one. I will have measurement. Maybe it's three quarter. I'm just gonna do a little banner. Et voila. Now I'm going to flip this here, flip that there. Now I'm going to put glue right here. Oh. Now line that equally there. And then I'm going to put. And oops, get a little bit too too much. Sorry, the battery went out. So I just place this here, and I can add some bling bling also. But et voila, is that the coolest thing? Voila, slide. You open it up. Ooh, get the, oh, should be this way, right? Get chocolate. Flip it back up, boom, the money. Is that the coolest thing? And this, uh, if you ask me for a credit card, no, it will not fit. A credit card, it's too long. So it's about the same size than a business card. See, it won't fit. And so that's why I went with money. And voila. So then it's so fun. I absolutely love it. Or you can have it with all chocolate also if voila my friend that is it for today thank you so much john uh, don for your inspiration love it till next time happy stamping my friend again all supplies measurement on my blog right below you get the direct link bye bye for now